I'm Diane Fetima. I work for uh, Red Hat in the AI Center of Excellence, and I'm going to talk to you about machine learning and AI today on OpenShift. So as Clayton and Derek were saying earlier, um, the first cluster is the most important cluster, and I just went through that experience helping two of our hardware partners install OpenShift on bare metal uh, in their labs. They were so gracious to offer us their hardware, and we installed um, OpenShift clusters there. We uh, containerized the MLPerf benchmark, the training benchmark. This is a new industry standard benchmark for um, machine learning. And this is a large scale benchmark that runs for over two hours. Some of them run for over two hours. It's a whole system test. This is not a toy. Um, so it's a great way to validate a uh, new reference architecture, which is what we did um, at both Supermicro and Penguin. So in both of their labs, we ran OpenShift and the MLPerf training benchmark. And along with their servers, the worker nodes had eight NVIDIA uh, V100 GPUs for hardware acceleration. So at, at this point, you basically have a mini supercomputer. This is high performance computing. Um, and we were able to um, nearly match the results, the NVIDIA published results for this benchmark on a DGX1. So this is a, a good first cluster for each of them. These benchmarks are uh, basically two areas that, uh, two application areas that they cover, which is um, computer vision and uh, language, natural language processing. So the four benchmarks marks were mask RCNN, SSD, Transformer, and GNMT. And these are all deep neural networks that we're training here. These are the data sets sizes and the data sets that we train uh, these models with. And we use the PyTorch uh, machine learning platform for all of these. So this is just a little example output of what MaskR CNN does. It uh, takes an image and it identifies everything in the image and it even does segmentation so um, it can break an image down. And this is really useful for things like medical imaging. Uh, they can look at like a limb and then look at the bone and the tissue and so this has very practical applications. So why do we want to do this on OpenShift? Well, the same reason that you want to run a lot of things on OpenShift, uh, you can uh, load balance your workload, you can have it scheduled on the GPU enabled nodes. Um, there's a very nice user interface for, to submit the job and that's in the movie that I'm about to show at the end here. Uh, you'll see a little of the user interface. Um, also another thing is, that's important is that you, we ran this on bare metal with these partners but you could take these same images and run them in private or public cloud or virtualized. This is an example of the actual uh, Grafana dashboards that we used at the first site. And um, this shows, uh, this uh, Grafana dashboard shows that all of the GPUs along the top there are working at like almost 99%. And this is true for over two hours. So these things are really taking advantage of these GPUs. You also see the temperature of the GPUs um, and how much energy they're consuming. So when the GPU gets to about uh, 95 degrees Celsius, it just shuts down because it starts to damage the GPU. And this slide would advance. There we go. So this is another dashboard that we have. Uh, showing GPU utilization, GPU memory utilization, um, how many times we went over this threshold of 95 Celsius on the GPUs, which is none. Here you can see none of them have. And then the, there are various clocks within the GPUs that you can also look at in megahertz what the clock speed is. So in order to, uh, I won't go into a lot of detail here, but in order to containerize these, bench, these large benchmarks, we used a tool that Red Hat created called MLCC that outputs a Docker file. And then at the end of that Docker file, we added uh, commands to build PyTorch from source. And then we just added a little script that actually ran the benchmark. Then we pushed that to Quay.io. 
And from Queo, we were able to deploy it from YAML into the OpenShift cluster. So this is just a tiny example of how you could do a CUDA vector add. This is a toy example. Our examples were large scale, real world examples. But that, the YAML for that doesn't fit on the screen here. So you can see that I'm uh, indicating for this tiny test case that I just want one GPU. But in all the test cases that I ran with MLPerf, we used all eight GPUs. So just, I can't, don't have time to go over all this, but these are all the people that were on our team, my collaborators. I just wanted to give a shout out to them. This is uh, the Supermicro team and uh, three of us from Red Hat. And this was our hardware setup. We had a 10 node uh, OpenShift cluster at Supermicro. And on the right side, you see the software that we ran. We actually ran uh, OpenShift 3.11 at Supermicro, but we ran 4.2 at um, Penguin. This is the great outcome that we had. Uh, we were actually faster for mask our CNN than the NVIDIA published results for that benchmark. And we are only, in the worst case scenario for GNMT, we were 6.13% slower. And uh, there's a random aspect to that benchmark in particular because it takes, it takes a random seed as a uh, initial condition. So you have to run it a lot of times. We weren't prepared to run it thousands of times to beat the timing, but I think maybe we could have at least matched the NVIDIA timing there. So this is the Penguin team. I didn't have a time. Oh, this is so fresh off the press, I didn't have time to get everyone's picture. Um, but later you could look at my slides if you wanted to contact any of these people. Uh, this is the nine node uh, 4.2 OpenShift cluster that we ran at Penguin. And these are all the, the details of the hardware and software stack. So at Penguin, we also did extremely well with our timings compared to the MLPerf published results, which you can just Google MLPerf version 0 0.6. That came out in July uh, to see their timings, which I've got here in green. And then our penguin numbers are in yellow. So again, in MassGAR CNN, we did better. And a little bit worse there on the SSD uh, single stage detector benchmark. That was 12.5% slower. So instead of taking questions, I think I'm going to go straight to this video. So this is done at Supermicro. And I'm showing how we ran one of these large benchmarks um, through this nice interface that we have in OpenShift. So I went to the NVIDIA project. And I first am going here to the Grafana dashboard to show that nothing's really happening. You look at all these gauges. The GPUs are quiet. Nothing's in memory right now. Um, but then in a second here, we'll launch the job. Also, you see that uh, the GPUs are cool, and they're not using much energy. And then I will um, import some YAML. This is the YAML that we use for the GNMT benchmark. And you can see that I'm pulling that from Quay.io. I'm specifying I need eight NVIDIA GPUs. And I'm using the host path option in OpenShift to read the data from local SSD. So we start up the pod. You can see that the model is training. And we said, so you can see training there on the screen. And you look at the events that this pod has been through. You see that you pulled the image from Quay, created the container. You can look at the logs from this console. And then now you look, and these GPUs are very busy. And for the next 25 minutes, they're going to be pegged and working hard. And basically, that's it. Does anyone have any questions? Sure. Diane, when you were comparing you know, the test numbers against uh, uh, against the existing uh, registered numbers, give us a little more background as to why those numbers are as good as they are, or is certainly the, the, the OpenShift uh, deployments are comparable with uh, the, the, they're, they're right up there with some of the fastest stuff that's ever been tested on NLP. So part of the reason is that um, in a container, there just really isn't that much added overhead. So that's one thing we wanted to prove, that um, even though this is running in, the, in a container, there's, it's a, basically a process. And there's not much overhead added. 
Also, uh, OpenShift itself is not adding uh, really any noticeable overhead here. And uh, part of the reason it ran so fast also is that we used NVIDIA's version of PyTorch, which is very tuned, very well tuned to run PyTorch on these NVIDIA GPUs. It's a private repository. We have to do it in a private repository, yeah. Which is, well, because we're not, it, actually, I have to use a private repository for my images. Each of these, these um, hardware partners can pull their own images that they create. It's just that, um, and, and we did that too. It's just that I can't pull images for them that have um, NVIDIA software in them. Pardon? Oh, no, no, just, like, I'm just talking about how you pull it, sorry. So, no, it, it, it really is uh, just a matter of the hardware partners have to, they have a relationship with NVIDIA for those CUDA bits, and so they have to pull the bits themselves, not me. It's just a technicality, really. It's not a technical issue. Thank you.